Always a real privilege to commentate from this venue. A warm welcome to North London. I'm Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Newcastle United. Yeah, Derek, cracking atmosphere as usual here. That will lead to a nervy, energetic start. Frenetic, fast play to begin with before it all settles down. I'm really looking forward to this one. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Toby Alderweireld plays with Davinson Sanchez in the middle of the defence. And he's broken free. He can't hold on to it. And a time for calm on the ball. Kane. Aurier. And moving the ball nicely. Aurier. Shot attempted. Oh, and current convert. Well, he'd be disappointed about that end product, but he'd be happy they're creating a chance or two. Well, that's the frustration of a manager right there, watching his players come so close and being powerless to help. Well, the man who captained England to a fourth place finish at World Cup 2018 while winning the Golden Boot, Harry Kane. Goals, simple as that. He lives for scoring goals. Anything he can do to get himself a goal, he will. We've seen that with the amount of shots he has in a game. Lucas, now can they make something happen? Well, a good tackle. And a chance for him on the flank. Matt Ritchie. Chance to cross. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Flattered away. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? So the corner played into the box. Federico Fernandez. It's with Isaac Hayden. Ritchie. Chance to finish. In it goes. The goal for 1 0. And that changes the dynamic. Well, look at this again. It's all about being in the right place at the right time. And from that sort of range, he's only one winner. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Matt Ritchie. Lucas. Sissoko. Well, he just let his opponent glide by. Crossing possibilities, but dealt with efficiently. Corner kick played in, and the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. Lo Celso. Alert defending. 
Newcastle have hardly had the ball. But again, we've seen it before. We'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace really hurts defences, and they've got that in abundance. Borier. It did appear that they might be onto something, but not so. An effective ball. Almiron. Well, thumps clear. Played into the centre of the box. Not a touch off the defender, last of all. So a corner. And firing it into the area. That's all they can conjure for now. Lo Celso. Sam Maxima. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Over it comes. Just cut and fist it away. Ritchie played into the box. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And offside. Well, close one. Kane. Now Sissoko. Harry Kane. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. Fabian Scher. Well, pressing really high. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Well, following that tackle, he's got to go into the book. Yeah, he's mistimed more than anything there. Just mistimed his tackle. Lo Celso. Harry Winks now. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, even the best can have their struggles, and that certainly applies to Harry Kane, who's been a long way from his best late. Yeah, well, the stats don't lie. Not enough has been done by the team, and he has to take some of the blame for that. Too easy to mark would suggest to me in his... 
Really tense battle so far. And now the second half is underway. Matt Ritchie. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Tottenham totally controlling possession. After that, it's been a little bit disappointing. Creativity in midfield is a little bit off. Certainly too slow in front of goal. Need to get wide, need to get crosses in the box. Promising looking attack. Gale. Lucas. Now Sissoko. Kane. Sissoko. And couldn't keep himself onside. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Almiron. Harry Winks now. Lucas. Kane. Hayden. Targets available, cross comes in. Well, no pressure on the keeper. Poor cross. Sissoko. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. Possession given away, unfortunately. Saint Maxima. Shelby. Son. Winks. Kane. And room now out on the flank. Well, they keep passing away. Son. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. This corner kick might help them. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And firing it into the area. Out of play, and a Spurs throw in forthcoming. Winks and dispossessed so 20 minutes to go Sam Maxima and it's with Manquillo Gale oh big chance and he clears it out of harm's way Winks now Sissoko. Deli Alley. Harry Winks now. Sissoko. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Longstaff. Almiron. Excellent defending. Son. Oh, wasteful from Spurs. Can he 
finish them off. Well, decent save there. Well, they'll be looking to add to their advantage from this corner. Here it is now, a substitution. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And breaking at pace with Menace. You always say that you get one more chance. The Tottenham fans certainly believe so. Incredible noise in here right now. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. The delivery towards the back post. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. Winks. Now Son. Davis. The clock is against Tottenham, but they might yet bite back. Deli Alley losing the ball. Deli Alley couldn't keep it. So three minutes of stoppage time coming up. Oh, he's given the ball away. And he read it well, intercepting it. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? An inability to keep hold of the ball there. And so there we have it. It's full time and disappointment for Spurs and their fans around the world. They've lost this game. Lee, how did you see it? Well, I guess they might feel a little hard done by by today's result. Not a great deal between the two teams, but that winning goal will have knocked the stuffing out of this lot, I can tell you that. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal.